Hi, welcome to our forest. Take two. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Psychedelic Kitchen. I'm back with Chef Lauren. This is Devin. This is Devin. For those of you who watched our first episode, it is our mission to create psychedelic mushroom experiences for the palate that are better than eating oatmeal out of a sock. That is f***ing disgusting. Preparing your fire for slow cooking. Take some paper, crumple it. I've got my lease agreement here. The cool thing about today's episode of Psychedelic Kitchen is we're not just dealing with psilocybin mushrooms, which are the most powerful mushroom that I know of. We're also dealing with lion's mane. For those of you who don't know, this is a powerful nootropic, good for focus, good for brain clarity. The shiitake is well known to have heart benefits. These are the oyster mushrooms. We don't know what those do. If you all don't know, mushrooms have been decriminalized in these places. Make sure that you do your mushrooms in a place where you're not gonna have Johnny Law on your tail. FBI, open up! Because there's nothing worse than being arrested while you are in a vulnerable spiritual place. Pre-cooked Thai rice noodles. We soaked them in pineapple juice and citrus. The acid is going to help break down the mushrooms. Also makes the uh, psilocybin activate a little quicker. Huzzah! When Devin told me we were making pad thai in the forest, I was not super excited for it. I was a little intimidated, but it was actually very easy. There we go, look at that. Super easy, it looks delicious. I think it was a smart choice to get the pre-made noodles that were fully cooked and just throw them in the pan. A cool vegetarian dish, light, easy. That's what you're gonna wanna go for when you're having mushrooms, I think. Yes. I think it was a good choice. I will be the dummy, the test dummy in this experiment. And as always, you wanna have someone to kinda look out for you because mushrooms, if you're not aware, they make you a little weird. A better word would be childlike, and it's good to have somebody who's grounded in reality while you're up in the space cloud. Can you believe the mushrooms are in here? I'm used to just slapping that bad boy on my tongue, maybe with a little peanut butter. This is way better. Anyway, we've given ourselves a level of challenge here. We're gonna have to set up a tent while I am under the influence of the pad thai. It's so good. The lime is really good, that's what I was thinking. Ah, there's the lion's mane. Let's see what that tastes like. Mmm, the lion's mane is kind of squishy in a good way. It's unlike any texture I've ever tasted. The noodles are so good. That one is very mushroomy. I put a lot of mushrooms. I feel awoken already. It's a strange experience to eat something. You know, if you eat a pot brownie, it's gonna be a little while. If you eat mushrooms that have been soaking in pineapple juice, you're like, hello. I can feel the lion's mane working. I feel smarter than anyone in this forest right now. Mmm. See? It's really good. That is a weird... It's so weird. I like the texture of the lion's mane. I was always kind of like freaked out by it. This is better than the pate. The pate was good, but this is like rocking. Yeah. I hope this one is, you can follow along and do it yourself even if you're not a six star chef. But with a little bit of attention and a little bit of intention, I'm getting a little bit. 
I can feel something happening. Um, you, uh, you can really make it taste good. And you don't need to be a six star, star chef. This is a super easy dish. We kind of threw it together, forgot a lot of the ingredients. There's no egg, there's no mung bean sprouts. Evidently, it's still good, so. It's so good. Can you believe, like, we can eat this good out in the woods? Yes. <laughs> you gotta like the boy, you disrespect the chef. It's true. <laughs> Done. Another successful adventure on Psychedelic Kitchen. Subscribe and like for more. Oh, I look like one of those weird little fish at the bottom of the ocean. We'll see you all in 2023. Epic. <laughs>